Jackson is the show. It's time for the stock market report for today, the 4th of August. And Mr. Charles is here with me in the studio to take that report. Welcome, Mr. Charles. Thank you very much, Gina. It is the time for the stock market uh, report, like you have said. And we'll just go and look at what happened today after frequent buying and selling prices moving up and down the bulls and the bears were at each other when at the close of business at 2.30 today 4th August Wednesday 2021 the bulls took control of the market as the ASI the indices that measures the performance of all the quoted equities on the NGS exchange gained 0.03% to close at 38,927.83 basis points. At the close of business today, the total volume of the exchange, that the exchange has starts at 206.3 million units of shares valued at about 1.07 billion naira and in over 3,000 deals. Looking at the sectorial performances today, NGX 30, also another indices, indices that measures the performances of the top most capitalized and liquid equity on the NGX platform had a 0.08%. The insurance sector was also was negative, losing 0.18%. The banking sector was positive, adding 0.56%. Industrial goods sector was positive, adding 0.04%. However, the consumer goods sector and the oil and gas sector closed in the negative territory, losing 0.4%. 0.04%, 0.63% respectively. Moving on straight to the gainers charts. Topping that chart is QTIS, which have just released um, their earnings report to the market. I think there is a corporate um, action on that um, equity. So it's not surprise that QTIS gained 10% to close at 550 copper. Very start scrap, another insurance fair gained 8.7 percent to close at 25 cobo. We also have triple G, which added 7.78 percent to close at 97 cobo. Presco was also on that list, had 3.71 percent to close at 72.60 cobo. Narco had 2.52 also on the gainers charts we have access bank waco and of course zenet bank moving on straight to the losers the decliners chart topping that chart of course is the insurer sovereign trust insurers which lost 7.14 percent to close at 26 cover we also have regency insurers losing 6.69 percent to close at 42 cover. We also have Unity Bank losing 5% to close at 57 cover. Jai's Bank was also on the list losing 4.84% to close at 59 cover. Carveting Helicopter was also on the list losing 4.26% to close at 180 cover. Other losers that made that list, we have GT Co. Stambi KBDC, FBN Holding, Unilever, and of course Guinness. These were the losers. Yes, investors, you are advised to continue to appraise your portfolio, rebalance it, but for anything you do, maybe you want to create a new portfolio or you want to evaluate the performance of your current portfolio, always get in touch. Just talk, broker. Thank you. All right, that's it.